What a beautiful room you have, Herr Fritz. It's really lovely. What do you look out on? That window looks over the Strogasse, and in the next room... Tell me why on earth you are both so constrained with each other. You could really just as well tutoyer each other. We will drink Bruderschaft together at supper. Sound principles, and at the same time reassuring ones. How is your mother? Just think, she has... Toothache. I knew it, I knew it. Your mother always has toothache. She really ought to go and see a dentist. But the doctor says it's only rheumatism. Oh, <laughs> if it's only rheumatism. Mitzi takes up an album. What perfectly beautiful things you have. Mitzi turns over the leaves. Who is that? Is that you, Herr Fritz? In uniform? Were you in the army? Yes. A dragoon? Were you a yellow or a black one? A yellow one. A yellow dragoon! Now she is going off in a dream. Mitzi, wake up. And now you are an officer in the reserve. Of course. You must look fine in the fur dolman. All embracing is her knowledge. Mitzi, I was in the army too. Were you in the dragoons too? Yes. Well, why didn't you tell me so? I want to be loved for myself alone. I say, Dory, next time we go out anywhere together, you must put on your uniform. Well, in any case, I've got divisional training in August. Heavens, not till August. Quite right. Eternal love won't last till then. Who thinks of August in May? Isn't it true, Herr Fritz? Tell me, why did you cut us last night, Herr Fritz? How? Yes, after the theatre. Didn't Theodore make my excuse to you then? Certainly I did. What use are your excuses to me? And still more to Christina. One should keep one's promises. I would much rather have been with you, honestly I would. Is that true? But I couldn't. You saw that I was with friends, in their box, and then afterwards I couldn't get away from them. Ah, yes. It was the beautiful lady you couldn't tear yourself away from. Do you think we didn't see you from the gallery? I saw you too. You sat right at the back of the box. Not all the time. But most of the time. You sat behind a lady in a black satin dress and kept craning forward. You seem to have watched me very closely. Oh, it's none of my business. But if I were Christina, how is it that Theodore is always free after the theatre? How is it that he doesn't always have to go and have supper with friends? How is it that I don't go and have supper with friends? The bell rings. That's Christina! Fritz hastens outside. Fritz comes in with Christine. She has flowers in her hand. Good evening. Are you glad we have come? You aren't angry? But, my dear child, Theodore often has far better ideas and is more thoughtful than I. Well, is your father playing his violin now? Of course. I took him to the theatre. Mizzy told and us. And Katerina kept me back. What? That double-faced creature? Oh, she isn't double-faced, I'm sure. You believe in everyone. Why should she be false to me behind my back? Who is Katerina, then? The wife of a frame knitter, who cannot forgive anyone for being younger than herself. That'll do for Katerina. What have you got there? I've brought you a few flowers. Fritz takes the flowers from Christine and kisses her hand. You little angel. Wait, we'll put them in the vase there. Oh no, you have no gift for arranging dinner tables. Flowers should be scattered heedlessly on the table. That is to say, later on, when the table is laid. As a matter of fact, one ought to arrange them so that they fall from the ceiling. But that can hardly be done. Hardly. In the meantime, let's put them in the vase after all. Theodore puts them in a vase. Children, it's getting dark. Meanwhile, Fritz has helped Christine to take her coat off. She has also laid aside her hat. He puts her things on a chair in the background. We'll light the lamp in a moment. The lamp? Absurd idea. We'll light the candles. That looks much prettier. Come along, Mitzi, you can help me. Theodore and Mitzi light the candles in the two brackets on the pier glass. A candle on the writing table, then two candles on the sideboard. In the meantime, Fritz and Christine talk to each other. How are you, my darling? I am happy now. Well... And at other times? 